so in order to know why we need to i mean what is the feature toggle first we should uh, know that and then uh, at what scenarios we have to use that right so the, there are multiple cases uh, that that needs to be identified okay so when you go with the traditional approach uh, like uh, out of uh, out systems if you go out of out systems so there are uh, a lot of things uh, where you can control your code right let's say if you are uh, coding multiple things and you want to uh, show something else uh, for a particular um, environment basically we will be having multiple environments right dev qa and uh, uh, production pre production there are a lot of environments so like that uh, so whenever we are developing some feature in a dev environment at the same time um, qa also will need a build to test right in that case uh, we will be deploying our in progress work also to qa but those works uh, need not be visible to qa right because we we only uh, developing the features that features uh can be only uh, visible to developers itself uh, it, it is not uh, appropriate to display the qa people because that's not it ready that user story is not it ready and um, that will cause confusions uh, i'm not telling about qa maybe you can think about uat perspective let's say our application uh, went to uat and uh, in the uat the client you know uat right uh, client uh, team will be testing the application and they'll be providing the feedbacks after our uat release uh, for qa will be releasing frequently maybe uh, in a sprint itself you will release to qa multiple times but for uat it will be uh, a definite uh, timeline maybe we, we will know the timeline right let's say after two to three sprints we should give to uat uh, after a lot some user story passed or some phase completed phase one completes it will be uat phase two completes then it will again go to uat so like that uh, the testing will happen so in that case so uat testers are testing some features Uh, which is already delivered and uh, we are also developing phase 2 uh, user stories which is not required to be visible in the uat but that is required in dev or qa not in uat you got me right so only the phase 1 features should be visible in uat and uh, at the same time we also need to work on uh, dev and qa right also we have to deploy the uat fixes let's say uh, the phase 1 uh testers started the testing let, let me share my screen so that it will be okay let's have like this dev qa uat right so uh, these are the environments that we have right and a uh, project a let's say so this project a we are separating it to do uh, three phases let's say phase 1 2 and 3 is the final phase okay and uh, each phase contains uh let's say 10 epics uh each epic contains uh 10 user stories and something like that so user story will go with the task task sub task something like that so this this is the hierarchy right when we do the development so uh, i i mean in our company uh, i mean we currently we are uh, very minimal we are following the jira and all right so this one uh, maybe i'll explain you quickly uh, post this i mean post this uh, um, feature toggle things right um so that you may get a picture on that part okay let's say in a project a you are working on we'll have three phases so the each phase contains uh, some epics epics is nothing but uh, one epic is a group of user story is called one epic right uh, so like group of epics we can uh, make them as a, this this phase one phase two phase three like that right and this uh, one user story can have multiple tasks and sub tasks created in it so this is how the hierarchy will go let's say this phase 1 have completed and uat is delivered uh phase 1 done qa is also done uat is also done uh let's say let's let's don't touch the production now so our code is went to this i mean passed these three stages i mean two stages uat testing is going on okay now uh this uat is nothing but the uh, users i mean the client side client side uh, 
personas to test the application okay now uh, we we can expect some bugs right may expect some issues from uot so this is uh, this is a kind of uh, split now um, the development team after delivering this phase 1 started a uh, phase 2 user story as well as phase 1 bug fixes uot fixes so here comes the thing right so the phase 1 bug fixes also should go in and uh, as well as the phase 2 development also should go in but for uot uh, we should not show the phase 2 items in uot only the phase 1 bug fixes will be visible to the uot but this phase 2 will go to the testers phase 2 user story and bug fixes goes to right so until qa uh, we can have all the things but for uat we should have only the phase 1 items until we deliver the uh, phase 2 let's say this phase 2 is still in progress so it will be delivered maybe after some 2 uh, to 3 sprints right uh, so for this purpose only uh, why i am explaining is uh, for this purpose uh, we are using the feature toggle right so here comes the feature toggle uh, the name itself is a feature right so we call everything uh, uh, every user story as a feature okay so let's say one feature uh, we need to display um, in one environment and we have to hide it in another environment uh can you tell me uh, in our systems how we can without this feature toggle how we can uh, mm, configure these settings can someone answer this if by default uh, what are the options we have in our systems we can do by user level access all right i am right uh user access uh, yeah that one also we can do you mean the roles right yes okay roles uh, hmm we can uh, grant role and uh, revoke roles in each environment like that you are saying okay that yes. can be done any other rear site properties right so through site properties also we can uh, if we enable that uh, property to true then that will be Uh, visible in the ui if it is false it will not be visible like that we can manage so with this uh, these are the default ones but uh, for each feature we cannot create uh, i mean we can create multiple site properties but uh, it's not manageable right so you can uh, have it in a single module and uh, also you have to write lot of logic in uh, each and every places where you have to use and uh, service side things and all uh, so in order to avoid this manual works we already have a component in our system called the feature toggle this is a forge component uh, so this feature toggle is a lifetime component uh, it is it is uh, th this one we need to configure it like you know the architecture dashboard and uh, some other things which is available in the lifetime plugins like that this feature toggle also we have to configure it in lifetime uh, why because uh, it involves all the environments not only in dev or qa right so it involves all the environments so that's that's the first thing and second really you have to install the feature toggle configurations in the each um, each environment as well so how we will configure is lifetime install lifetime at the plugin this is one right and for uh, uh, so for dev only let's do that for dev install the ft client so this is a normal component where we will install the feature toggle in dev and when you do the deployment from dev to qa qa to uat you can uh, deploy this to the next higher environment yeah this is how uh, the configuration will work for feature toggle let me show you the component the uh, if you just google it you will get this uh, feature toggle management and you can also read the things feature toggle management what it will do and all these purposes and uh, we check it here you can just go ahead and add new ft add new ft means it's a feature toggle uh, and you can name it as like here if you check admin panel new invite flow logic so this is a something uh, they have introduced a new feature right and this feature they enabled in all the environments development testing production so it will be visible in all the environments and if you check below 
my orders create order new experience so this is a new feature they have uh, uh, created just this is uh, just a name you can rename it anything right like like site properties you create right that's how uh, you will create a new feature toggle in this portal in lifetime now you created this and you enabled it in dev one testing not in production why it is not enabled in production is um, it is not ready it is still under development or still in testing uh, so after testing only we will push to production right so it's not enabled meaning if you deploy these changes to production also uh, until you dis uh, enable this it will not be visible in production right it's a toggling feature like that so you may ask how it will work if i create this uh, feature toggle how it will uh, uh, toggle my features in ui right obviously it will not do magic you have to define with this name right let's say this is the your you created this feature toggle um, record with this name you have to copy this and uh, in feature toggle component so if you install this feature toggle component you will get uh, the, the the component uh, oml and all right you will get that installed and from that you can uh, check this name is available uh, or not uh, with the configuration maybe if it is from dev uh, it will give you the configuration whether it is enabled or not if it is enabled then you can uh, easily show it I'll, I'll show you how to do that right so this is the component and if you come here you have the how to use section where you can read it feature toggle so this how to install how to use this how to install session covers uh, all the installation like as i did right this lifetime uh, install the lifetime plugin and uh, install the ft client uh, thing and all i i have installed this in our etpl environment maybe you can have a look on uh, how is this uh, handled uh, this is uh, this is not my uh, uh, this is not our uh, e1 laptop so this is a client laptop so i can't open it maybe i'll show it later part so in this feature toggle this is our uh, um, um, project currently we are working on it right so uh, i just wanted to tell you how we are using it let me open that. So after configuring the lifetime, the this feature toggle library, right? So this is the plugin where uh, you can install it, and this lib has all the things which is configured already. Let's say please go to this. Yeah. So all this uh, feature toggle underscore lib will have the default actions which is uh, available so they have already written this we can open it and check you can uh, have a look on this what is inside and uh, this feature toggle client fs is also one of the things which is uh, already uh, if you uh, install the demo the feature toggle demo that you will have this client fs and all uh, so if you open this where you can uh, write your logic basically This uh, sync feature toggle configuration, right? I'll tell you how it will work. So in uh, lifetime, you just go to the feature toggle as it is, yeah, like this. You have to navigate it, and then you can uh, create a new feature toggle uh, record here in lifetime. Once it is created, uh, you have to call this action. This sync feature toggle configuration. What it will do is it will uh, get all the uh, feature toggles you created on the lifetime which is a server right so it will get all the feature toggles and it will sync uh, serialize in this this output will return all the feature toggles you configured from lifetime it will serialize it and then assign it to the client variable right and then uh, in your application you can uh, call this get feature toggle by id uh, by passing the toggle id and module name so what are these two things right so this is the Feature toggle ID, this admin underscore panel underscore, right? This is the ID, you have to pass it. And if you pass it, it will return you the uh, details of the uh, feature toggle you configured over there. And uh, it will check if it is empty, true, is on false. If it is empty, false. So you will pass this feature toggle ID and uh, it's a log basically. So here is on as uh, the value which is returned from the server configuration where you get. Uh, so in the end user application, uh, you you have to call this uh, sync feature toggle configuration, which is uh, from this FT client uh, 
right? So a tick client FS. So here you have this uh, client action added already. This public client action, you have to call it in your end user module on application ready uh, this one. So if you do this sync, it will uh, sync the feature toggles and then uh, so whenever you call this get feature toggle by ID, it will return you the uh, output, right? First, uh, so this will automatically sync it. You know, right? What is the sync means from server to client? It will uh, sync each time this application is ready. Uh, let me find this edges. OK, this is uh, one of the scenario it is used. Login. Okay. See, uh, this is the invalid permission screen, right? So uh, basically, if there is no permission for a user, we will show this screen. In this invalid permission screen, we have a login button. So when uh, when this button is clicked, right, uh, we will call this get feature toggle by ID. This one by passing the feature toggle ID. Uh, which is configured in the uh, lifetime, right? So if you pass this, you will, uh, and, and the module name also can pass. So it will return you the uh, feature toggle you configure, whether it is on in dev uh, or not. So you're calling it from the dev, right? So it will check it and return you whether it is on. If it is on, we are uh, logging, we are redirecting it to the different uh, login. Uh, if it is not on, then we are redirecting it to the uh, some other uh, login URL. It's a SSO basically, so we're just redirecting to the another uh, URL. So like this, uh, you can implement. So this is in the logic level, and you can also do it in the UI. So I think that's it, that is done on the CW core widgets and all. So basically, this is it. You can. Uh, so I I'm unable to explain the full things uh, due to time cons constraint, but you can uh, just go ahead to our ETPL and uh, play with this uh, feature toggle things uh, how it works and uh, um, how it is functions right now i i hope you uh, basically got the information as what is feature toggle right so uh, at, at next time we don't need to panic over oh, what is feature toggle uh, like that right i don't know what is that like it's it's, it's just a toggling features on different environments that's it um, so out of which it has some configurations into your uh, different environments. So if you go through the documentation, you will get to know deeper insights into it, right? Uh, that's it on this uh, feature toggle. Um, if you have any questions, just ping me or you can post it in the group. I can uh, reply back.